channel. Um, so today I'm going to be making a, um, a song cover of What the Hell by Avril Lavigne. I really like this song because it reminds me of this, um, Bruh. one general fuck character. Uh, his name is... Oh, okay. All right, guys. Um, what's up, YouTube? Um, yeah, I, man, I, re I really wish I had a Rorschach mask. I know it's an off topic right now, but just a little tiny off topic. But uh, I really wish I had a Rorschach mask from Watchman because the uh, new HBO Watchman is coming out, and I'm so hyped up. But so. I was at the internet like uh, a few days ago and I just saw this most cringiest but in my perspective, in my opinions, it could be a troll or it could be a, someone who wants attention or it could be a, basically a weeb, you know, because she keeps like, I don't know, it's a person named Princess Q Girl. Yeah, it's really, really weird name, but I heard controversy about her. Some people say that she's really loud, which some of her videos that I'm showing you a clip right now. I'm grab you. Wow. Boy, I lose myself inside those eyes. I just want to let you know you're mine. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty loud, and I want to talk about my three, I think probably three opinions about her channel. One, it could be that she could be serious, like Chris, she could be the next Chris Chan. Two, um, she could basically, she could be a troll, you know. Third, I want to talk about her behaviors, how, the way does she act, like why does she keep doing this stuff. But to me, I don't get offended. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to protect this person. And plus, don't, uh, little disclaimers, because now people these days, they can't read the disclaimers. So I have to say in the goddamn video. All right, guys, whatever you do, do not harass Princess Gear Girl. Do not just say, don't attack her, don't attack anybody else, because you may not know that person could be a troll or it could be this and that. So yeah, just a, uh, yeah, just a disclaimer. Other than that, let's check out her YouTube channel. So, let's look at her channel, shall we? Well, all she has is her own videos. Uh, basically, got tons of meme, which is still obvious you she is a troll oh she even does animation channels so yeah i think this one episode one it's 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 fucking cringy it's really cringing it's, it's really cringy <laughs> sorry for the ear rape but let's see oh well 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 she has gaming stuff gaming videos that's a epic gamer. The gamers rise up. Let's see, she got. Oh, uh, forgot to mention, she does personas. So she made up her own persona or something and she tried to act like them. I don't know, it's just really stupid. But. Mm, she does. I think this is Minecraft, I think. And Roblox. And this other one in the, this part right here I don't know what that is but I think that's movie star but eh, whatever song covers let's check out Mumbamba
quoting it from somebody else who did say it. Unless it's, it's a song that like says something like, oh my god, I'm tired of all these N words. Alright, so that's just a disclaimer okay first of all that's kind of i don't know what she's saying but that's kind of dumb oh uh, man uh if i were you guys <laughs> just check him out yourself because i'm not gonna be into it much but no 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 <laughs> but other than that some of her channel looks really cringy but it's pretty obvious that she's a troll in my opinion well Let's check out her other video. Uh, uh, truth about trolling. Hmm. All right. That voice is really annoys me. You are a troll. Don't say you don't. <laughs> That's just your persona. Oh god, dude. I don't know what to say, but this is... A, 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 it's obvious you're a troll. You don't have to hide it, but if she wants to hide it, eh, whatever. She can do whatever she likes, but as long as she doesn't hurt anybody. I might talk about the controversy of what's happened. But first, I will get you guys... Uh, first, I will put a link of her art rant because there's this guy who made a video about her and yeah uh link in down the description but still um you know as long as she's not causing harm it's all right but i have a feeling that she is but there's controversy about her supposedly that she harasses a minor or this and that i think that's just a false accusation it's like you falsing an accusation against Jackson or something. But, yeah, because to be honest, there wasn't that enough evidence to prove that she is a pedophile or etc. Or I don't know, because they didn't show screenshots, they didn't show anything. She just says some stupid shit and that's it. But, <sighs> like, really. Oh dear, what could we start here? If you guys see all of her artworks, which you guys are looking at it on the screen, they're pretty bad. And so, bro, some of her videos that she was doing a threesome with Toxic Cat or something like that. What the fuck? Like, what? And all of her artworks here, they're all filled with copy and copy of basically Windows, Windows paint. You know, hey, if you guys do some art, please do not do not start by windows paint because windows paint does not have any uh, and i repeat this any supplies any art art tools or, or nothing of that it just only have spray and brushes that's it they don't have no layers they don't have nothing but uh, oh enough of this i'm a little bit off topic to super here and we're gonna be doing a rant video on princess cute girl because i've heard that she's going to date john the inkley so let's just roll the video i have a crush on uh john the inkling i don't know something about him is just oh mm, i love it when he bullies me and calls me such a what in the actual fuck is wrong with her? That's that's disgusting. And one thing is, she commented on John Inkley's channel, and this is the proof. And one thing, and one other thing, did you know that John Inkley's 11, 11 years old boy, and did you know Princess Kukro's a 17 year old girl, that she is a pedophile, exposed her Exactly. So she's a pedophile. She molests innocent little kids. So, anyways, guys, I hope you like, comment, subscribe, please. Talk right out. And remember, stay away from Princess Kukro. She's a creeper. Hmm. So let me get this straight. 
Um, first of all, you just show us a couple of proof, which that's not a solid evidence. You just show us the video that he was, she was doing some weird disturbing videos. That's kind of stupid. Uh, even though she made that disturbing video, but that doesn't mean that she is. Well, look, I'm not trying to defend this person. I'm just trying to um, give out some facts. If she did, if she did, and if Toxic Cat says it's true, then he should have more screenshots and more details and more recordings about her harassing that kid, John the Inkling. But it was kind of John the Inkling's fault. He shouldn't encounter her. You know, he sh he, um, you know what he should do? Block her. Block her. That is it. But he didn't. He just went out and just got himself into trouble, basically. Which is kind of stupid. But Toxic Cats, since you're trying to expose uh, Princess Cure Girl, but people exposed you because, well, I heard, it's a matter of fact, I've been watching Digby's Goat, um, Digby Goat and other people was doing art rants about you, and damn, it's not that good. So I wouldn't be talking, even though you call her an art tracer, but look who's talking you know i may make a video about you but if i feel like it i should but if not then eh, who cares i it just doesn't matter to me it doesn't i don't know i might feel like it making a video about you but no nah. digby goat made a good job making a video about you toxic cat so yeah probably not i'm too lazy about it but okay so if you call her a pedophile Shouldn't she try to seduce him? Shouldn't she, um, shouldn't you screenshot or John the Inkling screenshot one of her um, disturbing text messages or something? Because, look, I know she's 11, I know she's 11, but she's not doing nothing hard. That's not enough evidence. You're not showing much proof. You know, uh, that's, that's one big problem. So that's one big problem. The problem is you didn't show enough proof. You didn't show enough evidence to back it up. So how would you prove that she is a pedophile? Okay, she's a troll. You know, like I said, uh, don't feed the trolls, seriously. But if she did this something disturbing, and if she did harass John the Inkling, then like I said, John the Inkling should um, give screenshots that supposedly she you know at least she you know to ask him for disturbing images or something like that which is kind of stupid but i'm i'm pretty sure she's just doing this for attention you know toxic cat you know or other people who does rants videos about her don't exaggerate it's obvious that she's a troll and it's obvious that she is uh basically she pranks a lot so probably she's just doing this for getting attention she's like i said she's not well known um there's not enough there's not enough evidence that she done some harm so if it was if it had evidence then um then she's fucked up then she needs some help you know, she needs some help if she does that shit. But I don't think so. I have a feeling that she could be a troll. But if she's real, then what the fuck is wrong with her? <laughs> it's just literally just really, uh, just really dumb. Let me tell you something. I want to say a tiny little theory if she is, you know, if she's legit, you know. One, like I said, she could be a troll. Two, if she is legit, she could be the next version of Chris Chan. You know, uh, you know how she takes her video seriously, and you know how she's saying those disturbing stuff. If that happens, she might need some help. And you know, oh, and plus, um, she jokes about suicide, and she jokes about how do I say this? About I don't know. She she's a little bit offensive. She jokes about that shit. Yeah, it's, it's, there's a point that it's funny, but there's a point that it gets too far. But it could be both. It depends how she says it, how she trying to say. You know, I'm not so sure. 
you know, I don't know nothing about her. I do not know, but I've seen uh, tons of art rants, but there's none, there's no information about her. There's none information about her. She's basically not a big YouTuber. Toxic Cat, on the other hand, I'm sorry to compare this, but he has more subscribers. Well, the reason why he has more subscribers because of the big goat and the tons of things that he's done. But, you know, I don't know. It, to me, to be honest, he's just fitting, he's just fitting the troll. Don't be the troll, you guys. Hmm. How about this? Let's switch it around. Let's switch it around. Alright? Let's switch it around. Hear me out. She could be Liquid Chris. Liquid Chris. And Toxic Cat is Chris Chan. You know, come on. Just come on. Chris Chan, uh, he fed the trolls. Come on. He fed the trolls. You know, and Liquid Crest is just making fun of them. You know, she she could be harmless. She's not giving out harm. You know, she didn't she didn't threat at them. Okay, she did, but it's just verbally, but not physically. No, no. But it, it could be the point. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to compare Chris Chan and Liquid Chris. You know. Chris's cute girl could be Liquor Chris or Clyde Cash. Yeah. You know, forget it. Yeah, she could be like Clyde Cash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude. Chill. For like two seconds. And let me explain on what's I'm pretty sure is going on here. You don't have to be too hardcore about this, but I feel like you need to have another person's input on it, who's also very well, not well known, but this is someone who is a student in the art world. I'm pretty sure going to college is something that I am spending money on and I have to know what I'm doing. But anyway, if this person's a troll, they're a good one. Let me explain on what I actually think is going on since, I don't know, this is a topic apparently? This is someone that actually not a lot of people know about and who cares, right? But this person's also known for a lot of stuff of making fun of people and talking about Spockter theory. A lot of it, as I can tell from just looking at it, it does look like someone who is bad at everything, someone who can't draw, who use bases all the time, and someone who makes videos out of Movie Maker. But to be honest, of what I actually think is going on is not that big of a deal. To be honest, I actually think this woman is a troll. They do a lot of videos, and from what I understand, their animation is actually not bad. I've seen some stuff that they, yes, it is obviously used for MS pain and yes they do do MMD compilations apparently they're furries you know that I mean can't judge them on that but and they obviously do use MS pain but at the same time I think they're just trolls they're just somebody who's just making videos for fun and they don't really plan on making anything serious picking fun at people they even have a video called truth about trolling to be honest what's my statement on this person I mean they're trolls. They're not really anyone serious or to be taken seriously. They're just someone to pick fun at or they want to be made fun of. That's the point. That's the point of being a troll. They're not serious people. They're just having fun. So I don't really think they're being serious. They're just trolling. I'm pretty sure they know that MS Paint and all of this stuff they're doing is cringy and I'm 100% sure they know what they're doing. So yeah. They're trolls. They're not meant to be taken seriously. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about the topic. I don't really have anything else to say about it, but, you know, right back to you, I guess. Oh, what do I think? Hmm. Okay, what do I think about her? Yeah, she's just a troll online. She's trying to look for attention and to get some reaction to people. Yeah, like this, uh, like the video that I just showed you guys. And thank you so much for explaining to me. But, yeah. What she said is true. You know, she could be a troll that she could go online and just trying to get people's reaction. Hold on. Oh, motherfuckers. 
try to get people's reactions and basically to piss people off. You know, that's what trolls do. And I, I used to do that stuff back then in Amino. Well, Teen Times Go Amino. But yeah, it could be true that she could be a troll online and just basically making this out of a joke, you know? Um, there's other ones like Toxic Cat been talking about her. Um, and yeah, he literally just said that he was harassing and stuff like that. Yeah, pretty sure she just probably joking around. I'm no, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to defend her or anything. I'm just saying the facts that she's just a, a girl who likes to mess around with people online. So, am I defending her? No, 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 I'm not. I just want to say thank you to Ali Mistletoe on Cartoon for collaborating with me for Princess Cute Girl, basically. Um, if you guys are Sonic, uh, if you guys like Sonic content, I should suggest you to go to her channel, her YouTube channel. Um, her, her YouTube channel is in link down in down description down below. Uh, yeah, you should check her out. Her, her content is pretty amazing. And right now she's up, um, she uploading a new video. Um, it's called We Are Sonic Couples. Uh, I suggest you guys to check it out and, and take a look if you guys want. So, other than that, thank you very much, Alice. And, th and thank you guys for watching. Give it a like and subscribe if you guys want. Um, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Alright, peace out.